Before we go into episode 2 of our tour in China, let's have a recap on our route and plan. Over the last 4 months we've cycled 4,287 kilometers from Singapore to China. We entered China with the plan to cycle all the way through the country to Kazakhstan. Due to only having a 30 day visa, our plan is to extend them and reapply for new ones in Hong Kong. But as you'll soon see, things don't always go to plan. It's day two in China. Oh, China is hilly. It's not as steep hills as Northern Thailand and Laos were, but it's just never ending. There are lots of trucks. I still don't feel 100%, I must admit. Especially going up these hills, my stomach's a bit like, oh, not sure. The thing is, as soon as you enter China, it's like, that countdown is on. So we have to do at least 70K a day to get to the Shan to extend our visa. Adam's cracking the whip. It's like, pedal faster. We'll just keep going up the hills. So after spending pretty much all day going uphill, we've just seen our favorite sign in the world. Let me show you this. 7k downhill, baby! <laughs> so we've made it to our first hotel room in China. We are in what is a pretty dingy looking hotel room. But it's dry, it's warm. Apparently has Wi-Fi, which doesn't really seem to work. The guy, uh, when we checked in, wanted to take our passports off to register us with the police. So I just jumped in with him and basically just took a photocopy and gave that to the police station. All in all, it took about 30 minutes. So not as bad as we've heard other people, other reports in China. How are you today, Lou? Thoroughly tired after a long day on the bike, but in a good way. Nothing too steep, but feeling a lot better today, so... Uh, yeah. There were some big hills at the start, after there were, three. There were some big hills, but a lot of good downhill as well. Day 102, on the road. We had a quite good night, sleeping in this uh, pretty dodgy Chinese hotel room. These are electric setup. Look at this, this is a fire waiting to happen. Probably shouldn't have daisy chained all these together. You're not feeling great, are you? No, I just can't shake this sicky food sickness bug thing. However, we still need to cycle. Yes. So we'll take it easy. But I've got to put my positive mindset hat on and get on the road. China, we're coming for you. Let's do it. <laughs> Your punch is hot down. One of these, that one. Which one else? 
me fan. <laughs> Very awkward to just put our fingers right next to someone's food and say, we'd like what he's got. <laughs> Seems to be a proven tactic to get uh, what we want, food, which uh, can sometimes be a nightmare. We have just arrived at our hotel after a long day of cycling. How's today been? It's been a tough day, I'm not gonna lie. I sound like a broken record, but I still don't feel well. And all morning and a lot of the afternoon was just uphill climb, so it was, it's gone really, really quiet. Um, it's a really tough oh, day. Oh, we're in a restaurant, you know, as you may have noticed. Yeah. Today, for me, has been one of the toughest days, and you've not felt that. No, not at all. I feel really sick. And, I think it's just food poisoning. Today's been tough, and um, just as we were coming to an end, uh, Lucia started talking about making sure we make the most of China. We don't want to feel like we're rushing our way through, and it's really, really hilly. So far, the last three days we've done um, have been tougher than the Mei Hong Song loop, which broke you at one point and then you yeah. smashed it. But, uh, I don't think I could do this if I hadn't done the Mei Hong Song loop, though as well but it, the thing is it's not steep the gradient is low but it's just never ending it just goes on and on and on okay time some food look at this Warriors when we get back to so difficult here, yeah. you sort of a plate of food and they give you a plastic treated bowl you could bring your own bowl but we get stirred out enough especially when we've got a camera and we're talking to ourselves what do we got? Some kind of pork thing, I think. And some green stuff. And some white stuff. <laughs> and you got Wi-Fi? Yeah! <laughs> I did my mama. <laughs> what do you want to say to your mum? I miss you! <laughs> Here we have Lucia. Still completely not packed. And let's look at my bike. Oh, ready to go. What's going on, Lucy? Well, it does not tell Porky Pies. <laughs> tell everyone why you're taking forever. I was flapping because I thought I'd lost my bike there. But I found it. Good. Today is our fourth day in China. A slightly later wake up. We were both pretty tired after yesterday's hills. We climbed about 1,500 meters yesterday. We didn't realize it. Today should be one big hill climb. There's apparently a lot of wild elephants in this area and Prince William even came and visited where we are now uh, three years ago, which, uh, yeah, must be quite popular. Wild elephants in China, who would have known it? I'm feeling hungry, which is always a good sign. Hungry cycle tourists. 60 odd K is our plan. If we make it 60 K, we're happy. Our aim is to get to Le Shan. That is what we're cycling for for the next 30 days. Uh, Le Shan, we've heard, is the best place in, in China, not just where we're going, but best place in the whole country to get a visa extension. We should get there on like day 25 or 26 in China, which will be within our 30 day of our visa and hopefully we'll be able to extend it. If not, it's a quick train, worst case a flight, which is too expensive, but a train to Hong Kong. If we get our visa extended, we'll continue north and we'll be able to go a little bit slower than what we're doing at the moment. There's a lot of hills at the moment, isn't there? Mm. A lot of hills. Today is also the first day we're going to put some Christmas tinsel on our bikes. It's the 20th of December. So let's get into the Christmas spirit. Tinsel time. We've been cycling along these lovely, quiet, uh, but hilly country lanes. It's like the road that strad the old road that straddles the highway. Uh, we can't get on the highway because uh, there's tolls and it's all fenced off. However, we've just found a little gap in the highway where we could get onto it, just here. We've just been talking about it and we just thought, why not have a go? The plus side to this means we probably will get more distance done and we won't climb as much. Yeah. Downside is there's tunnels and it's a busier road. So we won't stay on it forever, but let's uh, have a stretch on it. Yeah. Feel alright? Yeah. Worst case, they tell us to get off and we get off. Worst case, you go to jail, girl. I don't want to go to jail. It should be fine. 
every day you need to do something that scares you a little bit. It scares me a little bit, so let's do it. Oof, go on, go on. kilometers on this road but it isn't pleasant with when there's no hard shoulder but luckily it's not that busy with traffic so we've got some tunnels coming up which when they're lit they're not too bad so we'll just see what they're like okay we're about to go into a tunnel i'm not looking forward to this but our lights are on so we've just got to do it and take care I don't think I'm gonna like it. We've come out the other side of the tunnel and down a big hill and now it's absolutely beautiful. Highways aren't too bad so far. That's bad then, babe. I know. So, I just fell off the bike. Let's sit down. Morally, fell off the bike. It's going 15k downhill on this highway awesome but there was a twig kind of sticking out and I tried to go around it and the road was uneven it all happened so quickly I can't even really remember how it happened I just swerved around something and the bike it's quite muddy and, and wet here and the bike just went out from underneath me I think I don't know how how I fell on the floor I think I fell on the floor on my left hand side first and then rolled over somehow because which got, hand hurts this hand really hurts. Which hand's that? My right hand. <laughs> my right hand really hurts here. You're wearing oh, gloves on, yeah. But my gloves, thanks dad for my gloves. They saved me. And then my left leg, left leg, somehow fell. And it really, really hurts. And I was in shock straight away. I was screaming my head off. I somehow managed to, I got off the bike and was just screaming around like a mad woman. Adam threw his bike down, ran back up to find me and I was in a world of it like, everything was like, my, I was just, I can't, just the shock and stuff and then Adam was looking at my leg and I fainted on his shoulder, like, but after, after I'd fainted, he sat me down and my mind kind of jumbled back to normal state and I just we're on this busy highway and I need to cycle off it and <laughs> just through a lot of pain I don't think I've broken anything my legs but you can, walk, I can walk so my legs aren't broken like it's just very swollen Falling. I had a feeling something like this would happen. This road, the highway was a bad idea. It's quick, but it has meant that we're at more risk. And Lucia has fallen off the bike. She's in a bad way. Now, um, now she's coming for a lift. Lucia! Lucia! <laughs> 